What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. I think what day of the week it was, of course. <laughs> Always uh, not knowing what day of the week it is. So I do have a card show this weekend I am not set up at, so I'm going to go get some footage. Don't know if I'll pick anything up. Might. And then one the following weekend again, too. So we're going to have some uh, show footage coming up so you guys can see some different cards. And hopefully uh, they're both pretty good shows. The one, in, not this weekend, but next weekend I went out before, picked up a whole big, huge stack of stuff. So never know. These shows are always different. You never know what you're going to get. And plus the last show we had Nashville going on at the same time frame, which probably uh, set a few... Of the guys that set up more to Nashville than up to Louisville. Uh, don't forget, overtime this week, uh, tomorrow night. I'm going to look at 10 p.m. Eastern starting. Uh, I'll talk to Joey again. I forgot to hit him up onto it. But we're going to try going a little bit earlier. And then, don't forget, next Saturday, the live sales slash auction. And then November, we're going to do the Black Friday event that went on last year as well, too. And if anybody else wants to get into the Black Friday event, you know, it's going to be like deals and steals, of course. But if you're into trying to sell some stuff, just let me know and I can get you linked up and uh, you can uh, hop on with myself and Joey through uh, the channel here as well. I thought I had something else on top of my tongue here and I cannot think what it was offhand. So I'm just going to keep moving through. Oh, 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I will have that launched next weekend. So just make sure you look out for that video. Um, that's pretty much it off top of my head. Off top of my head. I'm sure as I start talking, I'll think of stuff that I didn't write down <laughs> to talk about. But I've been getting a lot of emails, um, a lot of stuff on, uh, you know, just... Bad business, scams, uh, there, there's a lot going on. And as I said, usually when there's one scam video, they pop up in spurts. There's another one out there. I'll link something to that tomorrow um, as well, just so you guys can see it. If not, it'll be out Saturday. I don't know how long it's going to take on to it, and I'm trying to see what the best way of doing it is. But there's another scam. It was overseas in Europe. Dealing with soccer that went on. Uh, you can be the judge on yourself onto that one. But let's get to this This here. So, and if I haven't gone back to your emails, and for some reason a lot of times I click, um, just hit me again and say, hey, I haven't heard back from you. Um, just trying to catch, you know, catch up and see if you read my email too. But a lot, a lot of emails, a lot of messages on different things out there. And this one here was... Uh, Something that I've been talking about, and I figured it was, you know, probably common knowledge. And from what I'm seeing, it's really not out there. So if you're selling wax boxes, there's a proper way to package this stuff. And I'm going to show you how not to package this stuff. So let's start with how not to package. So this was sent to me. Somebody bought a um, Topps, yeah, Topps Chrome light box off of eBay, and the seller shipped it. Granted, now you all know with first class with the USPS right now, the post office, everything's slower if it's out of zone. They're not flying that stuff. It's getting trucked. So if expected delivery date is supposed to be in five days, double it. Uh, even priority is about a day delay, too. If it says it's supposed to be two to three days, look at three to four, stuff like that. Well, anyhow, he finally gets his package in. And this is what shows up. Oops, there we go. Kind of hard to see, I know, with the picture. But the box itself is like, well, this is just regular Topps Chrome. But if you're looking at the top up here, well, actually, let me go like this. If you're looking at this piece that he's holding here, this is all bent up in. <laughs> the seller actually had the audacity to tell the guy, did you step on it? It looked like somebody stepped on it. And... You know, as a seller, you have to take responsibility of how you package and ship stuff. Put insurance on it. We know things are going to get manhandled, getting tossed all around every which way. If you can't afford a couple dollars for insurance on something, it's your gamble. You're probably going to lose both product and money. And once you get a taste of it at once, maybe twice, especially with something big, 
you just start doing it. Believe it or not, you can claim the insurance cost on your packages on your uh, tax returns if you do the uh, Schedule C, which is another thing we'll hit towards the end of the year. So anyhow, it came looking like this. And let me show you what they used to pack it. And you can kind of see right there that it's a USPS um, priority mail envelope, which is just like that there. And you can kind of tell there where the box is kind of kinked in as well, too. But it's just a shame. So this is what the person used. This is it right here. Notice this is just a priority mail envelope. Now there's ones that don't have the bubbles on to it as well, too. And they just slid it in there. No protection, no whatsoever. This is a flat rate. You don't have to worry about the weight. You can put this and stack it in a box and bubble wrap it and stick it in this envelope and mail it. Crazy. So you cannot use just a regular bubble envelope to mail a box of cards out. It's going to get trashed. And I'm sure most people know this, but if you don't, you know, this is just one of those videos like, hey, you might want to look at your shipping um, methods out there because you're going to get banged up. We're getting into a holiday season. Stuff is going to get beat up, arrive late, all that stuff out there. And there's going to be so many returns. <clears throat> On top of it, you're going to see people using it to their advantage, trying to get both the item and stuff because... Post offices hurrying, not getting scans in, all that other stuff. So always, always look at your options, especially with insurance. You can't just ship a box like this. And if most of you guys know I've bought boxes from me. I have the smaller bubble uh, uh, envelopes, and I, or bubble envelopes, bubble wrap. And I'll wrap it about four or five, six times around here to give it a coating. Then I put it in the box that already has the uh, the bigger, like, large bubbles into it, so it keeps it in place. In no way is it going to, you know, is it going to arrive in mint condition, you know, your box. It's, it's just one of those things. But at least you do everything in your power to keep that box stabilized with the bubble wrap inside there, so if something compresses onto it, it's not going to, you know, beat the box up completely onto. you got to protect these. The other thing that I, I, I even do sometimes, depending on what I'm using, I might box put a box inside a box, depending on what it is. But normally, I just take the smaller bubble wrap, wrap it a few times on there, tape it with some painter's tape, so, it, you know, it, it has that nice, sturdy feel to it. And then I'll put it into a box that's box-appropriate, Stick it in there and it already has the bigger bubble wrap into it with the bigger bubbles. They call it large. Um, and that way it's padded all through there. So when you ship it, if it gets tossed, something gets put onto it, dings up the box, it's not going to get banged up as if you're putting it in a bubble envelope. Um, th this here is just really bad when you look at it. I mean, the guy was just rude in his correspondence back to the buyer. The seller was rude. Let me get that straight. To was just rude. He 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 was trying everything across the board. He even told the guy something in the realm of, um, "Hope you pull some nice cards, but I'm not refunding you because that's the post office problem. Claim your fifty dollars insurance that was on it." That's the wrong answer. As a seller, you are responsible for it until that person gets it, opens it, and is satisfied. Now, I mean, I'm probably could go down too, but that's not a reason to you know go through it. But if it's damaged, that's because of your packing methods. Think about it. Would you want to receive a box in the mail that's just in a bubble of? I had it happen to me before. I had a person mail me. Um, this is like about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, some Upper Deck Basketball SP Authentic boxes, and they were in a bubble envelope. I mean, I looked at it, if it wasn't for the way that Upper Deck packed those, the, the box could, uh, the cards could have been damaged inside there, and that dude would owe me a refund. You know, I was just to open up trying to chase the Jordans onto it, and I took the pictures and showed them, like, dude, you gotta do a better uh, job. If you don't have a box, go buy a box. The thing is, if you use the flat rate envelope or flat rate boxes, remember those are thin cardboard, thin. That's why I get I have well, I still have an eBay store through the end of the year, but I buy I get my boxes. I make sure they're thicker so they can absorb some of that pressure. It's going to be put on 
because you know it's going to get dinged on corners and everything else across of it. And I'm going to show you guys something else real quick. This here is called strapping tape. There we go. You guys see how it has the, like, the white lines onto it? Strapping tape. The reason why I use this on the, uh, like, where your box flaps meet, like this, and I tape, well, say this is the box flaps, I tape it down this way and secure it, because if somebody tries to cut this open, you're going to notice. This used to be a standard, in a way, when you used to mail your graded cards to PSA. It was like, they're, like a way to tell if it was tampered with or not. It's a stronger tape than your regular shipping tape, too. The clear stuff. That's why I tape this on top of it. Just so that it gives more of a security measure to it. Even when I'm using these flat rate box... The, oh, crud, sorry. Let me pull the pictures down again. These flat rate boxes like this. If you ever get one of these from me, there's another box that's inside this that I slide into... And it's a lot sturdier, and then still I secure the card inside there. So, th I, I don't want to say this is trying to be like an educational video on how to ship your stuff, but be careful on to the same time frame. If you get something from a seller that's not packaged right and it's messed up, you have every right to get your money back. Every right. Because they should have did the proper thing, and if they're rude about it, hey... If you paid PayPal goods and services, go through PayPal, show them the pictures, you'll get your money back. Yeah, it might take 10 business days or whatever it is. eBay, same, same thing, because this is something that's going on a lot. And I see a lot of this through, uh, I used to do a lot more on Twitter than I do now, but Instagram, uh, Facebook groups showing how people are just crappy and packaging. The best that I've seen... <laughs> is taking like that packing tape across the top of a top loader because they can't get a team bag to put up here and secure it, or even a piece of painter's tape. I prefer the team bag because the painter's tape will sometimes leave a residue on the top loader, and I prefer somebody getting a clean top loader from me. But, you know, everybody's going to have their own standard onto that. I wanted to share this uh, with you guys just to show that, you know... Don't if if a buyer's like I'm not refunding you, go see the post office or the, I'm sorry if a seller tells you they're not going to refund you to go through the post office. That's their job. That is their job. They're still held responsible to get that product to you. Uh, but yeah, just a quick video on this because I asked her a picture just so I could show what could happen to this stuff. Now, granted, anything can happen any time frame. And that's why a lot of times, like for me, if it's over a hundred dollars, I'll just pay the couple bucks insurance onto it. You know, it's just been my thing over the years now. I'd rather have it insured, just so I don't have any worry onto it. And if it doesn't, you know, I could always get the receipt for whatever and do my own claim onto it because since I have a license, I'm considered a expert in pricing cards for some reason with their insurance company. I have no idea how they determined that, but they deemed it. <laughs> kind of weird. But other than that, everybody, have a good Friday out there. I will see you guys tomorrow over uh, overtime. The, we're going to cover a few different things on to overtime tomorrow night. Uh, there, there's a lot of different stuff going on. Uh, there's a lot where people are saying do cash transactions because you won't get caught. Well, hopefully you're not making videos showing that you're selling cards for cash because, you know, you could get bit in the butt on that stuff. And I got a couple stories on that there. Um, but we're going to hit a couple different topics we haven't talked about uh, before just so we could get some of this stuff out. In December, we're going to look at one of the... Either at well, you know what? We'll probably wait till January before tax season. If not, it'll be like end of December, an overtime to where we're going to talk about taxes because we're going to be getting 1099s from a lot of the marketplaces and stuff like that. PayPal, if you get them, because you got to know um, exactly what you're doing. I heard last year PayPal's 1099s were off, mine were on, tar on Target, so I, w I didn't really worry about it. But some people were telling me who did eBay where they were collecting the sales tax. They added that sales tax in your 1099 even though they were the ones that collected it. 
So I'm going to hit some of that stuff up. That'll be uh, late uh, December, early January, just for in case anybody else is getting, you know, 1099s out there from a marketplace, uh, PayPal, whatever it may be. But all right, everybody. Take care. Have a good night. Hopefully see you tomorrow night.